Look at these. How can you not be in love with them, right? Hi guys, I am so excited that we are going to harvest these dragon fruits. In one of the, the previous episodes, I showed you guys uh, dragon fruits from my mom's house, and these ones are in my garden. Um, they look like they are ready for harvest. It's definitely best to not let them be overripe because you know they can get too mushy. Um, so the way to look for something that's ready is that it has got that really bright, like the most saturated fuchsia color. These ones are really nice and nice and plump. Let's harvest these and show you guys what they look like on the inside. You just break these flowers off. Let me tell you a story on how I got a hold of these cuttings. One day my friend called and said, hey, I think these are dragon fruit cuttings in the dumpster. I surely drove as fast as I could and <laughs> ended up jumping into the dumpster to get them because I couldn't reach for them. Oh gosh, that was crazy fun. all sorts of ways to do this. Wow. This is what it looks like. See that? Don't they look like sesame seeds? Oh my god, the juice is oozing out. Oh, it's so juicy. This is fantastic. So I've never cut it this way before. I thought I'd try this method like a mango. You think it'll work? Oh my god. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my god. Uh. Uh. Not quite. So good. Mm. Wow. Huh. It's so sweet. I love that crunchy texture of beet seeds. Mm. I'm telling you, these would be so perfect to eat when they're out of the fridge. So this is pretty much perfect to eat. You don't want it to do like go trend completely translucent. This is still got that opaque color. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So these are gonna go in the fridge so I can enjoy them later. Oh, I think maybe I'll freeze one and turn it just on me. Alrighty, I'm getting so distracted. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Subscribe for more if you haven't, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!